Hi, this is George Cao, and I want to show you how I make my simple edited videos using CapWing. Now, the way I edit is very simple, as, you, as you'll be able to see. And the first thing I do once I log into CapWing, by the way, I have a pro account, a paid account, but what I'm going to show you today uh, is doable using a free account as well, which I had for a long time. So click on new content, and in case you're wondering, um, the main benefit of the pro account for me is that I can export videos that are longer than seven minutes. So with a free account, you, your exported video can't be longer than seven minutes. So that's the, that's the, that's a major limitation. So I click here to upload. Okay. And then I choose a video that I want to edit. All right. Uh, there it is. It uploads at least, uh, it uploads pretty quickly. Oh, it's still uploading, but it gives me the preview image right away. So what I typically do is add a what's called a lower third, meaning I have words down here. So I click and drag my video and I basically click and drag it so that I have some room for the lower third. And I also want to hide <laughs> hide my 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 air vent above my head. But uh, anyway, I, I do this. OK, so about there. OK, drop it off and notice that as I'm doing this, it'll snap. It'll, it'll snap um, when it's centered and when it's meeting the right side edge as you can see there's a red you know red outline uh when it comes to the right side edge and then the middle line shows me that it's centered okay i drop it off there or stop uh clicking dragging and then what i do is add the text here so um before i do that though i like to put a color as color here background color and so what i do is i click here to select the background color and on the right hand side you'll see that I can either select one of these uh, colors or I can select this circle which allows me to choose many different colors or you know for example this one or whatever or I can click on this little uh, color dropper thing and it's kind of cool it says basically move your mouse over anything on the screen uh, no actually I'm sorry move your mouse over any uh, anything in the picture to 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 put what the color is going to be. So if I put I put, put my mouse over the color of my shirt, uh, I know my shirt is kind of like dotted, but okay, I pick one of the colors. So that's an, that's an example right there. Okay, and then it uh, what I do now is to select the text. So on the left hand side, I click on text, and I could add different sizes. I could change the font size later too if I want to, or you can add um, scroll down and there's multiple fonts now i don't know if this is a pro feature but i typically stick with a very simple font anyway um, but let's just let's just click add large text okay it shows up here i click and drag this down here okay and don't worry i'm going to just type things in first well to make it easier for me to read i'm going to change the color of the text while this is selected on the right hand side i'm just going to make it white there you go it's a little easier for me to read i double click and then I start typing, uh, focus on systems every day, the every day, not goals. Okay. Um, and I think I had, I think I had more text down here. I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. And then how do I make it fit? Well, if I click and drag the corners, it'll automatically resize the text, which is really convenient. Um, there you go. So, okay. I put it in the center. As you can see, when I'm moving the text around, it'll snap uh, and give me a red line when it's in the center. Okay. All right. Now, the problem with this is I can't italicize. Uh, if I have one single text block, if I click, if I wanted to, for example, select this and italicize it, it italicizes the whole thing. Okay. So to, to, to change that, I would basically add another text block. And italicize that, you know, and then match the, the, you know, place the two together. Anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm lazy right now. I'm making this tutorial for you. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, good. The, the next thing I do is I like to place my name, uh, right in that section. Again, that's just a stylistic choice, but I'll show you, uh, default text. So this is a smaller version. Again, I'm gonna make it white so it's easier to see. And I, I put George Cow. Authentic business coach. And then what I do is, of course, make it, make it so that it can fit. Whoops. And then make it smaller so that it does fit. Uh, something like that. In fact, 
if I wanted to change the text uh, size manually, I simply click on it, and then I click here, and I'll just say 10, for example. Okay, so it's, you know, it's, it's still, it's still visible. And again, I moved around so it's centered. And about the, you know, about, I give it about the same amount of space between this and this, anyway, just a stylistic choice. Um, and if, yeah, I think that's good enough. And once I've done that, the next thing I do is I look at the timeline below. And the timeline should, uh, should be automatically popped up here but if for some reason you don't see the timeline um, I think uh, if you click on layers um, it should show you the timeline anyway um, anyway I'm assuming that you can see the timeline so the timeline down here what this is for is that uh, you get to adjust um, the different layers and as you can see if I click on each layer oh it doesn't oh it does highlight it in the timeline you see uh, when I click on the, the, the layers menu on the left hand side, there are three layers to this video. There's the video itself, there's the big words, and then there's the small words. By the way, the big words I can also adjust the um, I can adjust the line height. I'll show you what that means. See if I go like this, the line there's more space in between the lines. You see? There's more but more space in between the lines. Okay. Yeah, so that's that looks nicer. Okay, so in the layers menu, if I click on this layer, you'll see that it highlights it very subtle, but down here you see that there's a yellow circle. If I click on this video, for example, it highlights the video. And as you can see, each layer, it's only going to show for a few seconds because my cursor happened to be here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer, right, this is one of my, 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 my words layers, and I'm going to drag it to the left to the beginning of the video and notice when I drag it it kind of snaps to the beginning right when I get close to it and I drop it off there and this is because the snap thing is on if I turn it off it 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 won't have that nice feature if I turn it off and it's white if I drag this for example it won't it won't snap it will it'll, it'll like I have to like position it manually right but if I click on the snap then if I drag it over here it automatically knows to that it, I want it in the beginning and once I have the, the, the text there, now I have to drag the text in the timeline so that, see, I actually have to drag a little yellow circle. I click and drag so that the text is going to fill the entire video. Otherwise, if I just, if the text is only part of the video, then if I drag the white cursor for the different aspects, so like the video will be playing and the text will be there and then suddenly the text will no longer be there. So that's why you have to drag this yellow circle. Click on it and then drag the yellow circle. And now there's a little bar to show me that's the end of it. Click and drag this all the way. And my snap is on, so it'll snap at the end here. Yep, there you go. It snapped automatically. Okay, so you can say, why? How come there's it's blank? It's because the cursor is showing uh, the very end of the video, which, of course, is blank. But if I drag it just a, a, a microsecond before, there's, there's the video. So once the video ends, of course, it ends and... Uh, YouTube will go on to the next video or whatever. So I dragged one of the texts, uh, or I made the, the text expanded. Now I'm going to do the other one as well. The other one, I'm going to click and drag. All right, click and drag, click and drag. This is my, the one with my name, right? Okay, snap, okay, at the end. And I'm just going to drag the cursor so that I make sure I can see everything. One other thing I want to show you is, uh, this is a good example where my name is like this. Uh, by the way, I'm going to click and make it bold so it's a easier to look at. And um, when you click on a particular layer, you can scroll down on the right-hand side and select, you know, whether it's in the back or in the front or whatever. So if I put in the back, for example, then this suddenly disappeared because it's behind the layer of my video. So if I've selected it, you know, my name, that's why the layers menu is useful. I select my name and I put it front so that, ah, it's, it's putting it in front of the video. So... Anyway, that's, that's how I do it. And the last thing I do is I click on this gray area outside my video. I click on the gray area. I, um, and I, I make sure the output size is, uh, workable for whatever platform I'm uploading it in. So one on one would be square. Okay. That looks weird. Nine by 16 or 16 by nine. Either of those will work for IGTV. Um, so nine by 16. This is usually best for Instagram, IGTV. And um, I think whichever of these uh, 
these all should work for YouTube. Any of these should work for YouTube. For Facebook, I know that this one I upload this format all the time and one to one should work probably as well. But typically Facebook is, um, I think Facebook is typically five by four. Uh, that's how most Facebook videos look, I believe. But anyway, nine by 16 is what I prefer for IGTV. And with that, I simply click on export video on the right upper right hand side. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing I forgot to do. I like to edit my video so that the beginning, uh, the couple seconds in the beginning, um, are not, uh, are not silent. Cause I, <laughs> once I click record, I like, uh, I check that it's recording before I start speaking, right? So I want to edit that part out. So how do I do that? All right. So let me show you. Um, first of all, I've moved my cursor to the beginning because that's the part where I want to edit. And then what I do is I zoom in. Okay. So this, this tool here allows you to zoom in on the timeline. By the way, I'm going to make it easier for myself by clicking and dragging and just giving myself a bit more space. This little thing allows me to make the timeline a little bigger. And I zoom in. So I just click on and drag. So I'm like, I'm zooming in more. So you can see how now this, this is zero seconds, two seconds into the video, four seconds into the video. And so I drag the video and I basically notice See, you see my mouth. No, notice this area of, uh, of if I drag and click and drag the timeline cursor, my mouth opens around this point. OK, so I basically can basically take out one second before my mouth opens around one second, 0 0.095 seconds. So I click the timeline cursor, drag it here to just before before my mouth opens. And then I click on the split button right here. I click on split. And now you can see that there's now two separate elements. As you can see, layers. There's two separate layers on this. If I select uh, the first, or I'm not sure which layer. Let me select the second layer. Ah, the second layer is the small layer. You can see it's there's a yellow outline. See? First layer is the long layer, yellow outline around that. The second layer is the small, uh, the yellow outlines around that. So I click on the second layer. I've chosen the second layer. And I'm going to delete it by trashing it. There you go. Now... What happens now is if I export this video, the text is going to show for a, one second before my video shows. But I don't want that. I want to my the text and video to start at the same time. So I'm going to click and drag this layer. And I've got snap on, so it's going to know to snap right there. It's going to snap right there. I'm going to drop it off. But because I've taken one second off. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out so you, I can see more of the, the, the entire video. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, keep zooming out. I'm just going to drag this thing here. Zoom out. Okay. Now, because... Okay, about there. And I'm going to scroll to the right. Now, notice that the text is about one second longer than the video itself because I cut one second off from the video's beginning. So now I'm going to click and drag this to snap so that it's snapped. Ah, yep. Snapped right there. Okay. So the video... Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing with this with this other text layer. I'm going to snap it right there. Snap it right there, and I'm just going to double check. I'm going to take my cursor and put it at the very end of the video. Okay. Um, snap it. Okay. And when when the snapping thing, you're, you're unsure of it, you can always remember zoom in to make sure that it's exactly the same. See, if I zoom in the most, it's it ends at the same time. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I know there's a little bit more detail than I expected to get into, but hope that helps. And now I just simply click export video. And there it is. It is now editing and uh, processing. And because I have Pro, it's supposed to be faster processing. And it's, I think watermark free is true for, yeah, no watermarks even on the free version of Capwing. So it's just that the pro processes a little bit faster. I, I've noticed it doesn't process that much faster on the pro version, but there it is. All right. Last thing I want to show you is what if, um, do I do go through that entire thing every time I edit the video? No, I simply, um, what I do is I, I'll open up this, my workspace, my workspace in a separate. And what I do is I simply, I usually just click on the three dots for an older video and I click on let me move my video here. I click on the three dots from my older video and I click make a copy. And when I click make a copy, everything I've done from the previous video is already there. 
And all I do now is I click on the video layer itself, right? Or if you want to make sure you click on the video layer, you can go to the layers menu and click on the video layer. And I delete the video and I simply upload another video. And how do I upload another video? I click on add media. I click on add media here and then I can upload. Uh, I'm going to drag another video from my desktop over here and it's uploading and basically it's uploading and I simply click on this plus button to add it there it is all right and then I do what I showed you before which is I you know I I, I move it uh, just just like I showed you before and and notice that my name is gone because remember the the name layer George Cowan the business coach is hidden behind the, the layer I just add the video layer I just added so I click on the my name layer scroll down and I click on front and there it is right so that anyway that's much faster as you can see and the other thing I, I have to do remember to do is to change the timeline because remember this video was a different length uh, than the other video I had deleted uh, the other video layer I had deleted so now I have to like adjust this right snap right and then adjust this click and drag and then snap there you go um, anyway so just kind of double check these things before you publish and I might want to like I said edit the very beginning when I have silent silence uh, for one second or so. All right, I think that's enough. Uh, I hope this was helpful. And uh, if I have any questions, let me know below. I'm not I'm not a real pro at cap wing. I just know how to do these very simple things. But maybe you put your question below. Somebody else watching this might have an answer for you. All right, take care. Or if you have, by the way, if you use cap wing and have another cool thing you like to do frequently. You can also uh, comment below with what your tip is as well. All right. Thanks. Take care.